what's up boys welcome back to another video now today i'm going to show you how i got opal in just one day in black ops 6 zombies um it was pretty easy to be fair i ain't gonna lie and i'm gonna show you the strat that i've been doing uh, i'm in a game with my mate at the minute uh, but how we've been doing it is um i train zombies and control on the top part and he controls zombies and trains on the bottom part and we kind of split it like that like the map because we're like on liberty falls we just constantly bump into each other and we get in the way but with this map with how big it is we've actually like got enough space to um do our own thing like someone down below and someone on top you know what i mean so we're gonna get all this done first yeah i've been having so much fun and i've just hit second prestige as well like i'm having so much fun i really am like i'm just proper grinding out camos well we're gonna quickly start this one as well what you want to do is is you want to try and get power on as quick as possible because when zombies do get a bit too much you can bring them this way and activate these door traps as well which is pretty cool and i have been using these quite a lot to be fair especially like while grinding camos And the reason I like this map so much more better as well is for the simple fact that you just get dead. You can just buy dead shot daiquiri, headshot daiquiri, whenever you want. Like that's such like one of the main reasons why I really like this map at the minute. It really is. But yeah, I was gonna bring in the AK this game so I can get um I'll pull on my AK as well. I'm go I'm doing all my AR guns. And last game when I got Opal on this, I was like, I should do a video on this and just show how I'm doing it. Because I bet a lot of people are grinding on Liberty Falls and stuff like that. Like, I've given up grinding camos on Liberty Falls because, like, it just, like, 25 rounds to get headshot daiquiri. It just takes too long. Where on this, you activate Pera and you can get him by it straight away and you're sorted. You really am. And last game when I did it, I brought the AK off the wall and I started getting special kills for that as well. So like I was trying to get two guns done in one game, which is completely possible. Because once I'm done with this gun, I can come down here and I can buy the AK off the wall and start with the AK. And that's what I did last game. And it's such a good um it's such a good thing to do. By the door, William. By the door. By the door, William. But yeah, last game, this is the gun that I bought off the wall and I I had that much money, I pack a punched it, put it to legendary and everything all in one go. I don't know why I always think it's at the top, but yeah. This is the part where Will controls. Like, he'll run... Will constantly run around here and just train zombies down here and I'll do it at the top. Or I'll do it down here and he'll do it at the top. We just, like, switch it back and forth. So, like, no one's doing the same thing constantly. Because as soon as you've bought Headshot Daiquiri, like, that is the first perk I buy. Like, you're just chilling, then you're just sorted, and you ain't really got to be bothered with anything else, really. Just aim down your gun, let the gun do the work, and that's it. It's off to a really good start. Stun them zombies a sec, so they could attack that. There we go. Get that on. Jump down. Turn this on. Sorted. Now I can go up, start training my zombies, and we can start buying pack-a-punch and stuff like that. Whatever we need, really. Which way did we come in? We come in the other way, don't we? I'm going to take it right to the top. So like I said, we'll all stop down here and focus on zombies down here. And I'll go to the top and I'll, I'll train zombies at the top. And it is a really good rhythm to be in, to be honest. See if we can get some good gobble guns. Now this is where, like, on my... Like, around this area, this is where I'll stop the majority of the game. Oh, we're going on the left. Oh, no. Get the med shot. There is an easter egg thing to so much to do around here. But this is like the ideal area I'll train the zombies. I'll just bring them round here. Come round here, get down there. And I'll just constantly go in this rotation. And that's all I'll do. But obviously we do need um save a pound money to get headshot daiquiri. So it is like a lot more effective. Right, I am going to wait until we get some higher rounds. I had to come and help Will, he was struggling just a little bit, but um, I'm going to come back down, get my elevator, and get back to the top. Like This is such a good way 
to get access up and down as well like it's so good and if you really want to you can always just activate that as well that is a lot of fun when you activate that to be fair it really is come on this i have a problem we can get around this but boys i am gonna wait until we're in higher rounds and like it's a bit more fun because it's a bit it's a bit boring with these few zombies at the minute so i'm gonna Wait till we are like in front a couple of rounds and I'll bring you back to where we can actually train up the zombies. Right, so now we're getting more zombies spawning in. This is where the fun part starts. So let's get them all together. Make sure that you really use these mantles as well. Like this. We have got enough to go and get our headshot back very soon as well. So it's to this. And then what I like to do is I like to come down here and then I'll shoot up like this. I just find it easier getting headshots when I'm aiming up for some reason. Get you. Get you. We don't want that nuke. We definitely don't want the nuke. Not if we're grinding for headshots. But as soon as we've got enough and we can get that headshot daiquiri, we'll be chilling then. Already got that. But this is the route. This is the route that Ioni Tech. Like, I just play them around here like this because you can come this way as well and come down the stairs bring them all the way around you can look zigzag them through these boxes as well like this get rid of the fly because they they are like the most annoying thing on the planet like just zigzagging out the boxes there we go now we get into a good rhythm and this is all this is all that i've been doing like, because there's two of us, Will's down there, he's got some of the zombies down there as well. And it's just, like, you can do this solo, it is a, a lot easy, well, it is easy solo as well, but... If you've got someone to play with, like, just split the map up like this. But, I have really been using Liberty Falls as much, just for the simple fact that... I can't buy Headshot Daiquiri, basically. Like, I don't see the point in playing it when I call by it. There we go, let's just get them. That's nice. Like, you see what I mean? Like, just zigzagging through all the boxes. It's so good. But obviously, like, as the rounds go on and on and on, it is going to get a lot harder. But we have got enough for a headshot daiquiri now, so... Let's go and buy that. Running around with your knife out as well is so much better. But this is how I've managed to hit Prestige 2 in like one day. Like I only Prestiged um, to Prestige 1 like yesterday morning. And in one day I've gone to like Prestige 2. I ain't got enough for this now. I know I've not. I've gone the wrong way. I don't even need to buy that door. I'm being very silly at the minute. And now I need to buy ammo as well. Oh no. Oh we have got enough. And we got enough for ammo. Oh, I have got no ammo. We got really lucky, but with this ammo, then, boys, really, really lucky. There we go. Now it all comes in. Well, yeah, this gun as well. When I prestiged, I was like halfway through getting my headshots on this gun. And I was like, well, do I prestige or do I just not prestige? And then I realised. I can prestige and keep this gun permanently unlocked anyway so it was like pretty lucky to be fair it was actually pretty good it's so cool but i mean look at that third gun my i've been recording for the past five minutes my recording has been paused while i've just explained a bunch of stuff and pack a bunch of my gun so i'm just gonna have to do it again and hopefully <laughs> i'll remember what i was saying but um like i was saying this area, like, it's just so good to train zombies with, it really is. But, like I was saying, this area, like, it's so good to train zombies because of the manoeuvres you've got there, the weaving in and out of the boxes, these doors you can buy for when it gets too hectic. But, I do want to say as well, don't go above a certain round to the point where it takes you that long to kill a zombie, or because of the bosses and the amount of manglers, you have to kill before you can like get your headshots and that. I would recommend exfilling at around 
around 25 or 30, in between 25 and 30, because the amount of time it takes to kill the manglers and other bosses, it's just not worth the time it's taking you to get the headshots in the end, so... I would recommend x in, in between round 25 and 30 and then just jumping back in, really. Like, it's just so much better. Oh, let me jump out there. Will needs to upgrade his gun. <laughs> but yeah, but now that's going down. Like, I'll just use this area. And then, like, I'll get a bunch of zombies or a big fat horde of zombies here. I'll come through here, slide through the door, activate the trap, and then they're sorted. This. Because when you get to like round 30, you have multiple of, man multiple of these manglers spawning in, like loads. And those doors are pretty good for him as well. But it, the amount of time it takes to kill him, it's just not worth it. It's really, really not. Mantle down there, cut back through. Quickly get them headshots. Yeah, boys, that's pretty much it, to be fair. Like, it's so easy and simple. Like, it really is. And I like the highest round I've been up here for doing this is probably about 32 before it starts getting like super, super crazy. Right, let's call this back up now that he's done. There we go. Like, as soon as he's done pack a punch in his gun, we can call that back up. But like, this is the main area you want to try and use the most of as well. Like, just run to the corner, chill there for a bit. Let him get close, come back to this corner. Let him get close. Like, it's, it, it's just, I'd call it a tire as it is. But doing this, I got Opal on three of my guns so far. And I've proceeded to level two just by doing this. But the most reason why I'm doing it on this map is because of the headshot daiquiri and the ability to just buy it as soon as I want to and as fast as I can. Whereas with Liberty Falls, I've got to wait until round 25 and that's the only massive downside of it, is the fact that I've got to wait to buy it, it really is. But I'll be doing this with all my guns, I think, especially just because of the fact I can buy this perk and yeah, that's pretty much it really, boys. It's just that simple and that easy. Come on this map, buy Headshot Daiquiri as quick as you can and either train up here or train down the bottom. The only reason I prefer to train at the top is because of these door traps I can buy. There we go, slide through there, get round. Like, it's just so good and easy, boys. I mean, look at this. Like, if I was on Liberty Falls, I'd have to wait another, like, 11 rounds before I could do this. Mantle down here, so that I'll come behind you at them stairs. And then just bring them through the boxes. And then with the door. There we go. And then you can still get a few headshots while they're going up. Okay. There we go, sorted. That gets rid of a massive horde of zombies and gets you out of a sticky situation. There we go. Now we're getting into a rhythm. More zombies, come on. But this is it, boys. This Doing this got me open on three guns in two days and second prestige level 16. Well, 26. My level's bugging out now. But yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video and I hope this helps you with your camo growing, boys. I really do. If you've enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.